Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. This is my makeup basket for the week of, what is today? March the 3rd? Is it March the 3rd? Oh my God, I don't know what today is. <music> Sunday, March the 3rd. So this is my makeup basket for the week. I'm trying to put my phone away. Um, my eyes are super dramatic today. I just felt like I wanted to sort of play with some makeup. One of the items that's in my makeup basket, just from Juvia's Place, is on my eyes today. And another thing that I use today is I wanted to kind of play with. I'll show you real quick. This one might not be in my makeup basket because this is not one of those things that when you're trying to hurry up and go to work, you got time to do. But I did try out both of these today. The um, Revolution Cut Crease Canvas. So I tried out both of these today and I have it in Etch, which is, medium, which is the deep one, and Create, which is the medium one. So this one is the deep one. This is the medium one. The deep one I put on as a base for my eyeshadows and then I did attempted to do a cut crease with this one. This is not in my makeup basket. I'm just showing you what I did with my eyes. Something else that I use today, I am going to come back and do a video on. If you can see, I attempted winged liner today, which is something I do not do. But I did because I picked these up from Amazon and these are going to get their own video but this is the Le Pure winged liner sort of stamp and eyeliner so you have a right wing and you have a left wing and on one end you get the and I can't show you it's like a stamp I'll stamp it on my hand here you get like the stamp that helps you create the wing is ignore my dry hands that helps you create the wing on one end so you get a left wing and you get a right wing and then at the other end of both of them you get a liquid eyeliner so far so good I did this one yesterday and it does definitely take some practice because my wings are not even the stamp is amazing and I love it even if your eyes are like creasy like mine are you can still just sort of stamp it on there and it goes on. I think it brought a lot to my look today. So we are going to do a video on that. Not in my makeup basket today. I just wanted to show you. Now we are going to get into what and as you can see, this thing does not come off until you use makeup remover to take it off. Um, we're going to get into what I'll be using this week. I have just three fragrances I'm going to be using because the um, moisturizer I'm going to be using is still the same First Aid Beauty moisturizer from last week. And I just have three fragrances, none of which are Tarte. None of which are, not Tarte, none of which are um, Bath and Body Works. But I do have one from Tarte. And that is their Sweet Tarte Rollerball. And let's see. And it looks like this. This one really, really smells good. This is like their only fragrance, but it really smells good. So we are going to be wearing that this week. We are going to be wearing the Marc Jacobs Daisy Dream. And I got this one as a gift from my husband. So we're going to be wearing that. And also, I think I have this one on today. Yeah, I do have this one on today. This is the Vera Wang. I think it's like the signature fragrance. Yeah, this is just the Vera Wang. I don't know why that little spray thing in the middle looks orange. It didn't used to look like that, but anyway, we're gonna be wearing the Vera Wang fragrance also. So those are the fragrances. The fragrances for the week. No moisturizers, cause it's just the first aid beauty. We are gonna jump in with my makeup and um, Let's see, we're gonna jump in with the eyeshadows and the one that I have on my eyes today and that is going to be in my makeup basket for the week is the Trap by Juvia's. I wanted to go with some 
greens and golds and things today so we use this one to, to create the look that I have on today I used this shade here I used this shade here this one here and then the one in the middle so four shades out of here I used today um, attempted a cut crease didn't quite come out like a cut crease I don't think but I still like the look that I came up with um, also from Juvia's place we have the festival palette and that one looks like this and it's upside down so it looks like that I pulled out from Kat Von D her something anniversary 10 year anniversary palette and it looks like this as you can see I pulled out quite a bit of color this week I pulled out two and do not come for me I know these are super old but I will never get rid of these until they are gone um, two of the wet and wild remember when they had the six pan palettes I pulled out two of the six pan palettes so I pulled out the vanity palette and then this one here was a limited edition and I pulled the name off of it so I can't remember what it was but because I haven't really been like digging in these I don't think they're bad at all they still apply the same I used the vanity planet today and I'll show you that they still they still come out good these are the two real creamy real creamy I used these two colors today so this one I used to set my eyeshadow base and then this one I used as a highlight so and I'll show you that the other ones are still creamy we will swatch these on my hand henceforth these things have not gone bad they are still really good these are all the ones that I just swatched on my fingers so yes we are using the vanity palette and whatever the name of this other one is six pan palette from wet n wild and another palette my hands are so ignore that I washed my hands and didn't have some lotion to put on them and they are so dry they look like I was playing in like flour or something I pulled out to use the desert oasis because I cannot wait to dig into it and see how it performs it looks like this so this is like the most neutral well besides the wet and wild the most neutral palette that I have for the week and those are all of my eyeshadow palettes i pulled out another two other like new products that i hauled last week and that is the physician formula butter highlight and the butter bronzer both of which i use today um, i have four matte blushes so my blushes and all of my lip products this week where's the other one are coming from mac so i have the peach twist blush from mac peach twist i think is like one of the first mac blushes that i was ever introduced to so of course we had to have that in our collection i pulled out thanks to colette the lady fine the format blush and if you can still see it i have it on today i pulled out stubborn which is one of the pro long wear brush blushes i think yeah so i pulled out stubborn and i pulled out pinch me which looks like this all right so those are all of the blushes that I have for this week. I pulled out another highlighter from Essence and that is the Pure Nude Sunlighter highlight. And this one gives you a more subtle, definitely probably more subtle than that Physicians Formula one. I will swatch this one real quick. But this is what it looks like. It's really pretty. And I'll swatch it real quick. See, it's really, really subtle, but really pretty. So I'm going to pull that one out. 
Um, what else? I didn't bring my foundation down here, but I'm going to be using the Lori Geller fir filter first first filter filter first whatever you call it um foundation i was using that all last week and i really like it so i'm going to continue oh i forgot an eyeshadow palette i'm going to continue to use that one this week this next palette has been on my mind all week sorry put my stuff back so i decided to pull this one out and this is the urban decay naked cherry and like you don't know what this looks like this is the naked cherry so i just wanted sort of like a berry look for today that that stubborn blush is going to go well with so we're going to be using that also um like i said we're going to be using the filter first foundation from laura geller which i have on today and it is a really really good match i really like it um it doesn't really break down on me like when i get home from work it kind of looks the same as it did when i went to work so that's a plus um the concealers i just did a video on that i'm going to be using this week are from elf and this is the 16 hour camo concealers so if you notice i don't know you can't even really notice that much i have one concealer under each eye so under my left eye is this one and under my right eye is this one this one is the deep chestnut and then this one is the deep olive so um i'm going to be using one or the other one not both of them at the same time this week uh let's see i think that we are down to my um lip products for the week I feel like that was fast, but we are down to the lip products for the week. And like I said, these are all MAC products. And I'm going to pull out the lipsticks first. And these are pretty much all like, well, all, most of them are like the classics. You can buy them. They are not limited edition. The first one is like my absolute favorite. And that is Flat Out Fabulous. And the next one is an OG, and that is Velvet Teddy. The next one I have on today, and that is Whirl. And then the last lipstick is in Kinky, and this one was and I have not used this one and I think I have not used this because it was a limited edition but it is a gorgeous red and I am going to start using my reds I'm afraid of reds but this is this is the shade kinky and this one is a matte so yes we are going to put on some matte red lips this week I pulled out three lip glosses the first one is in the shade sheer yeah sheer coincidence and it is a mineralized glass i pulled out just one of the regular lip glasses and this is in spice and i pulled out one of the Aaliyah um, collection lip glasses and this is in the shade lily's motor city which i put on top of um world today on my lips because i wanted some moisture and i think that's it i just have like some of my mac highlighters in there which i use i mean not highlighters my lip liners which i use all the time um i think that is it that is what i'm going to be using this week FYI, has anybody tried these little hint infused waters? Gotta get used to it because it's like water with the essence of some kind of fruit in it, but no sugar at all. Um, trying not to drink so many sodas, so we try everything we can. So, can't drink. Anyway, that is it, you all. That is my makeup basket for the week. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. 
if you are already subscribed to my channel please make sure you hit that notification bell so you know when i have a new video coming out have a great day and may your day be as flawless as your makeup bye